Welcome back everybody, my name is Jack, and we are playing Company of Heroes 2, Adin's Assault. It's a pretty neat game, I've really been enjoying it. You're in for episode 3, hopefully you've seen the first two, otherwise it might be a bit confusing what's happening. Uh, we're taking Baker Company to Baston. Now we, when we move here, we'll take 5 uh, damage uh, onto our company strength, down from 100. And the number of symbols indicates the strength of that location, so it's level 2. So let's move in. Now we saw that they had standard enemy forces and increased enemy veterancy. Uh, let's watch the set rep to see what's going to happen. The Germans have Bastogne surrounded. The men in there are really taking a beat. We can't get anything in or out. The Krauts won't let us. And neither will this damn weather. But that could be a good thing. If we can open up a gap, use the road through Assenois, we could get fresh men in and the wounded out before the Krauts even know what hit them. So long as you keep that route clear, there's no time to waste. All right. So it seems to be doing that. Secure the points along the road and then defend the central road points. All right. Medals will be awarded based on how few casualties need to be evacuated. How few casualties? Doesn't sound like how many. Oh, I I need to click close. Oh, I need to right click to attack. Now we can attack. That would make more sense. Need to move my company into the position. So should be interesting this one. A bit more proactive rather than rather than defending than we saw before. Every major road coming out of the Ardennes converges on one point, that stone, making it key to holding the region. After a prolonged siege, I don't know why there's many even firing in the tank. Are being called the battered bastards, and with good reason. They're outnumbered five to one, have no supplies, mounting casualties, and have been in battle for several days straight. In response, Allied command has mustered a relief force that is racing its way toward Bastogne to take the Germans on. So remember, we're using the mechanized infantry here, so we need to make sure that we use it effectively. Germans will be blind to our movements in this storm. Perfect time to strike. This will make for a great letter home to my father. Get us over there. Clear the ring spot, firing. Awesome. Hey, down, down. Now actually, I need to protect these guys back here. Quick, jump the fence. There's another group of guys here. If we can flank around behind these, that'd be much more effective. Alright, quick, we need to capture this point as soon as we can. Is that some uh, ammo over there? Yeah, sure, I'll grab an ammo box. The men don't have ammo in themselves. Uh, we'll just give them a weapon or some munitions. I think that was munitions. Uh, we should be able to put on... What the heck was that noise? It sounded like some type of mortar or cannon. Ready. I can put uh, armor side skirts, increases durability. I'll do that one and that one. I don't want to lose anything at the moment. Uh, these only upgrade, I think, when in friendly territory. Oh, that's still upgrading. Neat. All right. They've got some rocket things there. What have we got? Coordinate arms. It's 20 munitions. I want to save the munitions. Oh, there's a side path. Oh, I'm taking fire here on this little guy. Okay. Move across the road. Armor. Get off the main road. Get him to cover behind the wall. Get in that point. Get it moving. 
Yep, way different way American. We're gonna envelop them around here. Now, if I was to a group just around to the right here. We grab that munitions box. Right, capture that point ASAP, and then we can get that final that final MG uh, loaded up. Jump on the main road. Those guys retreated pretty quickly. So I can call it off cavalry riflemen. They might be good to do now, because it'll take them some time to get here. We don't seem like we have any main structure that we can build from. Oh, we might be able to actually build this. We'll just wait a while and see how the game goes. We've got two minutes, 30. Ours. Now spread out. Uh, out. Capture the points as quickly to reduce the amount of wounded to evacuate. Sure. Move us out. Let's rush for the victory points. Send your orders. All right, get us over there. What is that? Oh! Okay. Hold, hold, hold. Hmm. So there's there's some there's some bad stuff up there. How much can we go around it? We can't really get around it unless we go up the right. Okay, let's go up around the right. Pull this back a little bit so it has vision over here. If you can charge through there. Oh, well, mate, I don't want you guys left out in the open. Just keep running. Oh, it's an anti tank gun. Oh, uh, anti tank. What was that noise? Drive, 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 drive. I don't know what that noise was. It sounded like a. I don't know if it was an error with the, how loud that sound was. It's ridiculously loud. Okay, I need to get these guys repaired up. This guy's got a broken engine. Oh, it's, it's so much... Objective secured. So much manpower, though. Move your ass, go. Drop those They've got anti-tank grenades. I don't want them... Should be behind cover, actually. This tank's so weak. Well, there's the second point there. I don't know how many victory points we're going to be able to get, but... At least we can take these main points here. Drivers can disengage. Oh, that was close. Actually, if I tell the drivers to get out... Oh, they can repair. That storm's letting up. Germans are going to try and get reinforcements in, so shake it up. Oh. The base is up and running. You want to repair. Capture as many points as possible. Yeah, we got most. Um, and I want you guys to help out as well. Base is now available. Alright. Definitely want to get the bazookas out. Secure the remaining points. Oh, they were nice enough to automatically start repairing, which was pretty nice. Right, we finally got manpower and stuff coming in. What do I want to be getting? Oh, a couple extra points have opened up. Let's get some riflemen. Uh, Anti-tank would be useful as well. But then again, we could just go for Stuarts. But they're weak against anti-tanks. Yeah. Let's go for this. Uh, oh, these guys have arrived. Grab some bazookas. And can you even grab bazookas? You can as well. Even better. We need to grab that fuel point and this one over here. So you guys can run up here. You guys can take the half track and try and get the fuel point. Now listen up. I got secondary objectives the battalion's calling for. Save the gripe. <laughs> pull out. The Germans have been leaving intel behind. Locate and retrieve whatever you can. Could save a lot of trouble for us. Let's move out of here. Okay. Secure enemy intel. 
hit the enemy intel. Where are they? Do we actually have to literally find them? Jeepers. Oh, where's this fuel point? Up there. That looks like an emplacement. Let's get one of the tanks down there to try and crack open that shell. Get into that building, gives me some vision. Lieutenant is here. Uh, this forest could be a nightmare. Squeeze in. Oh, it's not one here. Driver, move out. Roll us out. But that, 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 that's changing like that color. Oh, found some guys. And we got a uh, Baker squad as well. Can, can you throw the grenade that far? You can. Uh, men. I need you out. I need that in there. You guys are taking a hammering. Actually, if you can quickly run around. Grab that, and then jump into here. Go around here. Actually, just jump in the house. You start shooting them from the windows and stuff. Captured enemy intel. Oh, it's... Captured the fuel points to be... Oh, we're carrying. Okay, once they've captured that point, I was told them to retreat, full bolt. Uh, this tank, come over here. Same as this half tank. I wonder if the three points are at the three of those locations. Alright. Still no enough fuel. Uh, but one of those anti-tank guns is probably going to be useful to get. You smell orders. That's the first time for anything. Right, I don't like these guys being so weak. Retreat up, Banker Company. You take the in intel back. We've got a, 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 a lot more support now. That's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. Grab two of these guys and we can just grab all these guns. Brilliant. A rear echelon. Rear echelon troops on the front line. Grab that. I can't even see you guys on the screen yet. You guys come up here as well. Okay, I want you to grab that anti-tank. And the last guy wants you to retreat. To re Oh no, don't do it! You could reinforce here. I think. Gosh dang it. Oh, we saw someone. I want you to face up that road. Come on, tank. Oh, wait. <laughs> you might have seen that a lot before I did. They dropped the intelligence. Go grab it. <laughs> uh, why can't you reinforce? Do you need to be a bit closer? Closer in here? You guys need to come up here. Uh, rear echelon. Grab the mortar. Oh, population cap is reached. Jeebus, that's a first time. Alright. Uh, you can retreat. Oh, not you. Gosh dang it. You can retreat. I'm seeing most of my force back at this rate. Get 
There's a lot of enemies back here. I want you to tackle that. Okay. Bazooka team. Gosh, where do I put a bazooka team? Like in here? It's probably good as any. Oh, I see. We need to be capturing these points as quick as we can. Can, uh, accelerate this. I want to retreat all the people that are super weak. We've got an anti tank gun up here as well. Let's start moving up. There were some infantry right here. Just move inside the circle. Good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your feet, ladies. Pull the spades. We're moving. Can you see? You see that over there, bro? Button her up. Big push coming. Nope. Move us out. Stow those damn rounds and get this thing moving. There was a second unit up here somewhere. Found it. You guys. Bring it here. Oh, we found the last one up here. But nothing's, nothing's happening here. Can we tell them to attack ground back here? Wait, can they even reach that? Try and hit that. Fire. Oh, it's gone down. Oh gosh, they're they're moving up. I I need. Your tank squad's not going to do well. They're in negative cover. There must be a mortar or something up there. Okay, retreat back. I found what I need to do. I just got to do it now. Grab that. 64%. Metal's based on this, not on the intel. Uh, there's some intel here. Oh, they've already got it. Right. We've got 99. Oh, I've got artillery dra 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 barrages. Cannot use the ability on target. Don't give Jerry a chance. 105s, coordinate barrage on that position. This should work well, though. Ah, oh, beautiful. We just lost a unit. We just lost a unit. Oh, jeebus, those guys died. They can see that guy, can't they? That was a good haul. We're processing it now. Keep it up. Okay, we've got the intel. That mortar squad's still going. Get in. They're at the 59%. We're doing horrible. Ready to deploy. 
I have a support battle group. Ah, if we don't have much pub cap, we can grab some more tanks. Right, these can be guys to cap this point. Uh, these guys need to jump out and repair their things. These are fairly weak, but we can probably move them into here, actually. Uh, you probably should get out and repair yourself as well. You get onto the main road. We're about to churn through here. I could even just turn it on into the repairing mode and they could sit here repairing away. It's hard to know where they're going to come from though. I guess we'll find out eventually. Jump in. Let's roll. Oh, it's an easy tank gun. Oh, there's another anti tank gun. Oh. Artillery barrage up here. Supporting barrage. Blanket that position with fire. Jump out and. We lost contact with frontline elements in Bastogne. So oh, they're moving. Falling back to secondary positions. Oh, nice. We got that gun. Move up here. You remember Italy? Alright, you, you, and you charge the lines. Oh, jeebus, that's not good, Max. Alright, no, you need to keep out, getting out and repairing that. Yeah, um. That's time for a big retreat. Oh no, we kind of pinched ourselves between two men there. Can you guys repair that? Or just at least hop in and get in the gun. We need to take out both these groups. Requesting armor support. Bring in the double tanks. Light tanks headed to assist our forces. Jeez, 44%. It's not good. One minute left for that. Need the machine gun up. I, I could find them, put, them I put the machine gun up in this building. And then they can just move to the windows that suit. Okay, that, that slide knocked out. Right there. The other tanks should be here as well. Alright. This next push is going to be tough. Oh, they're in that building. Maybe, maybe don't put them in that building just yet. They're, they're packing up. So an artillery strike up here would be perfect. We just need to get line of sight on them. Then fall back! And then these guys move up while the gun's deployed that way. Jeebus is so weak. Come on, just one strike in here. It's just this. Oh my gosh, they knock out the tanks so quick! Okay, but the other one's fine. Put the machine gun in there. 
Assist Infantry, tanks can mop it up. We've got two tanks. We actually have much infantry next to that. Right. Move into position. And then what we need to do is get the men out. And then we'll start capping the point. Jeebus, this is going to be nuts. 34%. We did not capture as quickly as we could. We, I prioritized the intel, which is a pretty dumb idea. Grab, actually, some of this ammo. What's the manpower, though? Should grab that guy so I can grab some Shermans. I haven't been using my command very well, but we've only got a cap of 100, and I've definitely filled it up. Jesus, that was pretty horrible. Recon and scouts are reporting German forces assembling. Be ready for a counterattack. Yeah, but what from what direction? Now we're cooking with gas. Send your orders. This place. Drive her over to that location. That's my German question. Are intent on cutting the road in half. We gotta assemble a blocking force and throw everything we have at them. Back here? We got ambulances headed up to Bastogne. Make sure that corridor is safe. The wounded are being brought out. Okay. Crew ready. Defend the central road points. Move her out. This is useful to know. There's a major reporting for action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's ready, stuff coming in. That's probably a good place to have it. In Jump in. Jeebus. I don't even know where to put these little guys. They're such tiny little tanks. Uh, like this mortar squad is probably best actually tucked in behind this building. Right. All these men, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start putting you in houses, but you need to get up here quick. This tank. We've got guys in a few houses. Which is useful. Uh, like this machine gun squad though can probably get out. Get ready, guys. I don't want them to be in buildings which are going to get shot up by the, the tanks real easily. And that's kind of my worry. Jump into that, into that trench actually. This is a good idea. One of these guys are quite weak. Jump into, into with that squad. Grab behind that wall. This guy is not staying here. I can't take the losses of you. Let's, let's defend them as they... Let's shoot them as they come down these slopes. Oh, we can actually build some defenses. Yeah, this is one of those slopes that I haven't really prepared for either. Wait, let's put another emplacement, actually. I don't have much room to move that thing. Yeah, that's a good spot to put it. Oh, I don't know where the, these guys are going to come from. They could come from here and shoot this tank, or they might come out from this side. But this such really open. He's going to destroy some of the cover. That guy is just not in a good position. Alright. They're coming back. So I build a point up here. Put a machine gun in there. Put a machine gun in there. What's going to build? Sandbags. Tank traps. Definitely put a machine gun nest down there. Possibly even another one over here. 
Like we've got so much manpower and stuff, and this doesn't count any population. It just seems like we should have machine gun nests everywhere. Attack spotted. Oh wow, that died straight away. Um, I need to spin this around. Alright, you guys move up. We're ready to build one of these, we just don't have the manpower. Ah, uh, the population. These guys are leggy, look at them go. I actually need to get inside that territory. Uh, you can repair up the tank. Possibly from repair up that as well. Alright, they're coming back again. It's cool we're having all these little details though. This game looks real sweet. Hold fire, counter barrage. To automatically barrage enemy artillery positions within their range. What can these guys actually, they can get... Squad loses five holes as a mine tech replaces. I don't really need mine detectors. Another one out here. We have so many emplacements. 49% left to evac. Because I, I was... Oh, did not prioritize that well. And that might penalize us later in the campaign. 86% strength. Jeebus, you cannot lose a lot of men in these missions. So those guys repaired that. You could... Can't... Okay. Go on this way. Jeez. Oh, there's four. I thought that's a big one. Just reverse drive. Don't even have any cover for this tank. You can repair that up. We've actually got four people in this house, which is really close to the action. We've got a mortar though. What I might actually do is I might pull them out. I'm going to move them to this house, which means that they won't be in the line of fire straight away. Uh, but they can shoot them as they come around the corner. Actually, give us some field of view out here, and they'll choose the windows that seem appropriate. We actually don't have too much more to evac. We might have really overcompensated. This house is pretty strung up. Loads of defenses. Glad those things are smart enough to go around. Oh jeez, they shot that guy crawling. That's pretty grim. Right, I put one of the crews up here to re repair this crew. You can stay down in here. Pop into that spot there. Just a grim waiting game, isn't it? Contact. Our fighting positions and sustaining fire. Contact up the top again. Why are we coming on the side here? What if the tank can shoot into this group here? So I don't want to get too close. There's just so many in that pile there. Surprised they haven't attacked at multiple places at once. It's just seems a bit simple. I like how this can shoot this way and the machine gun there is shooting over there. We've got these guys completely pinned. I think that's what that simple there means. Seventeen command points. Lovely. That one there, I'm pretty sure, only costs eight though. Alright, pull it back. Yeah. Pull them out, so. 
Oh, Actually, I probably should move the Major up. Even if he's just in the middle, he can be getting the experience. Get some veterancy. Oh, that's something that the guys could repair. Repair up the bunker. With your welders, that doesn't make really any sense. That mortar's doing a great job. She's a really long range. Right, we defended the central road points. And that's it! My goodness! We completely overcompensated for that. Well, again, again, it's one of the starting missions, but I, I thought the intel was the most important thing, but you should have been going for the road first and then going out to get the intel. Well, definitely, definitely overcompensated. So, 44 on the veterancy strength, but only silver. Oh, alright, that's actually not too bad. It wasn't even bronze. Uh, we can locate the enemy intel. I wonder what that gives us, though. Company strength is, is 86. Like, it's going down. Uh, the experience is alright, though. Alright. So I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to t going to make it past the senses farther. I'm about to collapse from exhaustion, but I wanted to write to you before you start to worry. I just hope this wick holds out long enough for me. That's really dramatic. My stone has been a roaring success, and it took real well. We broke through the German siege. Uh, our cause is filled with just purpose. We will not fail. Okay, cool. So, directive to a, a company, a sort of airborne company, especially. Uh, acknowledge Captain, sorry, acknowledge Captain Jackson, MIA, effective immediately. You're designated CEO of A Company. Task, develop and execute action of target March, Ma March Air. I, I don't know how to pronounce these. Ensure sector is under allied control. So you can review a company's history and upgrade its abilities from the customization screen. All right, so now I've got some requisition. Requisition points can be used to heal companies and upgrade their abilities. So, wow. We're going to take this point and then that's it. These will be the three spots that we hold and then we'll choose from there essentially. And look at the map. It is just completely taken over. My goodness, I wonder what's going to be the best way to the Congress, you know, cutting off the, the routes like through here or we might be really spread apart. Rightio, let's check out the customization tree. And so this will only be for Able Company, the Airborne. We shouldn't use up all the requisition because I presume that would go across. Uh, so. Guess these are the special units, the paratroopers and the pathfinders. So pathfinders are scouting infantry to mark enemy positions and put safe landing zones. So that means the paratroopers can come down. Uh, infiltrate pathfinders. So pathfinders can be called on a target building. If unoccupied, they will spawn. So you can just make them essentially appear from anywhere. Uh, fast capture airborne units that capture and decapture territory faster than other ones. Assassinate airborne pathfinders, gain the assassinate ability. And then extra manpower and munitions. So I guess these are the different abilities we can use. So that's 0, 3, 4, and 6 required. Now, there's a couple of different upgrades here for each. If this is the amount of requisition that we get to spend on it, there's actually, we can spend quite a lot. Let's say that we'll spend a third on each. So let's say we'll only spend 20. What we can do is we can say that they drop with a 50 cal heavy machine gun, which is pretty awesome. And if you combine that with Pathfinders, you could bring down the paratroopers, put some of them on the machine gun, and then reinforce. But that means that the the manpower cost for them would up, go up, which is quite a lot. I wonder if you can you can turn these on and off. Let's do blind drop at least, because that's only... Oh, actually, you can then reduce the cost of paratroopers by 10 or 20%, so that compensates the rest of it. So this one here, Thunderbolt flies across the area and then allows them to drop into the fog of war. That's pretty awesome, I think. It means you can just drop it anywhere. So that's five. Keep or discard. I keep those changes, I guess. Suppression. A second one performs a strafing run trying to suppress any enemies in the drop zone. So that then would be one across to scout, another one to suppress, and then the third one comes in to actually do some damage. 10% of that would drop it by 40, which is it's actually quite a bit. Uh, I will keep those upgrades there. On these ones here, we've got flies quicker. That's pretty good. An additional one is flying over. Uh, pilot will attempt evasive maneuvers to try and avoid being hit by AA fire. Okay, so that means if there's AAs around, it won't be shot down as it tries to do it. And then reducing the cost of it. Reducing, I guess all these have reducing cost, yeah. Uh, this one here so drops 
two instead of one. That's, I say, pretty powerful. Um, this one here drops a fuel. Oh, that adds a hundred onto it, though. Man, we can we can drop down a whole lot of cool stuff. Uh, this one here reaches uh, faster again. Or uh, armor-piercing rockets more effective against medium armor. And then we'll get stronger rockets, which is effective against more armor altogether. So I'll say we'll spend another 15 to 20. I'm liking the sound of using the paratroopers quite a lot. Um, especially if we can reduce those power troopers, paratroopers, we can use them, get them a lot more often. Uh, but then something like a 50 cal in the middle of nowhere can be so powerful. And wild seems pretty expensive. I think we should go for that. So these guys are pretty expensive now. They're 440. Uh, but then they're pretty unique. We, we can drop them in anywhere and we can drop them down with a heavy machine gun. Uh, the last thing though, I think we should go for these guys. And I think second munitions would be quite useful, especially if we could upgrade our like these guys, the paratroopers, having up to munitions means that we could give them the ability to grab a short range or a long range combat upgrade. So say for like a Thompson's or whatever. Uh, so putting that on, and especially because that's not too, like the fuel one would be nice, but that's a lot more expensive. So I'm gonna grab this. It's 15 though, but I think that's quite good. Now we're down to 37, so that means 40, 20 each for the other two. And I think that's a good place to leave it. Cool, well, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. I hope you stay tuned for the next one where we'll be taking on Marsh, Marcher? I don't even know how to say it. I had to say that rain splitters or rail splitters, all these words I can't pronounce. It seems like it'd be a cool one. Uh, we're going to destroy German command trucks. I hope you stay tuned for it and we'll see you next time.